Hello everyone, this is Maria, aka The Unexpected Crafter. Welcome to part two of the video that I started earlier on coloring this image from Sasayaki Glitter Stamps. I am uh, one of the designers there and uh, I was I started with this uh, video on how to color this cute little image that you can find at their store. I will link it below. Uh, this is the background I'm going to use uh, for the finished card, which I am going to remove because I don't need it right now. And I wasn't sure what color to do the scarf, so I left it for part two. So I decided to go with the purple, see how it looks. And then I'm going to do a very simple background with uh, snow slopes on the back and then a simple sentiment and that will be it. So I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and start with V01. And I am going to just add some color to the scarf here. With actually, I think my V01 is getting very dry, so I am going to skip that one and go to V00, triple zero, I'm sorry, I have that here, just to set some base color down for the scarf, which I am going to keep very simple. Okay. Now I'm going to use 504 and I am going to go to in these areas where there could be a shadow or it could be darker. And I'm just going to keep it simple. Then I'm going to use V06 and I'm going to make them even darker where I just put some color down. I'm going to make that a little darker because you know the head is casting a shadow. And I'm just following the artist's lines. Then I'm going to go back to V04 and again, I'm just going to extend that color out a little more. And then I'm going to finish it off with V000. And if this doesn't blend because there's a big difference between the two colors, I can always go back to a even deeper color and do and only use the original three ones that I the other two the VO4 and the VO6 so I'm gonna change here gears and I'm gonna use V09 which is very very deep so you just want to use just a little bit of this color it's very very dark I don't know why is it so dark but it is then I'm going to go to V06 and I am going to pull some of that really dark purple out best I can here. So the scarf is going to be a little darker than I planned, but that's what happens sometimes. And then I'm going to go with my V04 and finish it off. Then if I want to go back with V06 just to add a little more to certain areas that I'm not happy with. I can always do that. So here, I decided just to darken it there a little bit. And then here, just a little bit here. Then I'm just gonna finish it off again with V04. And 
that will be it for the scarf. I don't think that looks too bad. Those colors go pretty well. Now I am going to work with the background. I love to use the stress inks instead of my Copic markers because they do save me some ink. So I am going to use this two sticky pads, sheets that I have to kind of mask where I want the snow to be. And I don't need to protect the image because I'm going to stay off. Um, I want to stay off her. I'm going to cover her up like this. I don't have a lot of sticky there. So I'm going to make sure I cover her leg there. I'm going to turn the paper so that I can get a better grab. So I'm going to stick this here because my sticky doesn't have any more glue to it. And I am going to use, instead of attaching it to the this thing here where the handle where you're supposed to put it on there, I'm going to use it like this because I can control it better. I normally have a, a crafting mat to protect this, but I don't really need it. So I am just going to see where I want to add this. Some people have asked me how I do my backgrounds with the stress inks and this is basically how I do it. I'm just applying it, getting some of the excess here and then just applying it as I go. And actually the plan was to just to put a little bit less here and I overdid it there, but here we go. I can always try something to cover up the mistakes that I make. So let's see how that looks. That is more blue than I want it because actually snow is what is completely white. So what I want to do is I want to make this darker. that darker there and then she is standing on that snow slope sort of then I'm going to continue here adding a little more here too Okay, so it kind of creates a glow on the back. I didn't really want all that blue there. I kind of get carried away. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I could create another snow slope over here. And I could do that possibly by covering this up like this. course always removing the excess So you can see how that's starting to take shape. I could probably leave that like that just for a cool effect. I don't know. It's kind of cool there. And maybe I could do another one here. Let's see what else would I want to have. Maybe there. 
I'll just trial and error here and see how else I could possibly maybe add one more here. Let's try that out and see how that works. I'm sort of twisting my arm here so I could get a better... Sorry that I'm covering that, but it's kind of hard to do this without... Hmm. I'm going to try it this way instead. Instead of pulling away, pulling down first. You have to be so careful with the distress inks. Yeah, see, that's a little spongy there. That's giving me a little problem. Okay. So maybe what I'm going to do then is I am going to create a little sky. That's when I would use this tool here. And then I am going to go ahead and need my crafting mat, which I will pull right now. Let's move this out of the way. And use my crafting mat. to protect my area as I color this. And uh, let's see, I need... So what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring the sky, which will be the same blue. And maybe I can cover some of my little mistakes I had there. So you start off the mat and then you move into the paper. And I don't have to worry so much about protecting the image because you won't be able to see Except for this area here, I have to be careful with, I don't have to be careful with the rest of it, but. So see how that's taking shape. There you have that. Um, have to come up with an idea for this slope here as I got carried away with the blue there as you can see. But we'll think of something. So that is the scenery for the snow. Um, and then um, this is going to go up against this here. Which now, since I created that scenery, I still like it though. It looks kind of pretty. And it's going to go against the white background. As the Distress ink dries, then I can add some snow. We have to wait for the Distress ink to dry. And I can add some snow as well. And what I could also do is I could try to create a slope that looks like that. And it stands out. Let's see if we can create one. But then it's probably gonna be no, it's gonna not gonna look good. So we're just gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on there. But I want to show you how I do the snowflakes. 
on here with the white gel pen. Okay, I use this inexpensive white gel pen. It's from Jelly Roll. And clean off the top tip a little bit and just kind of do in a circle, circular motion. You can do little snowflakes. Some of them you can't see very well because of the blue. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see. And of course you want to do some over her too because the snow is falling. So you want to do some dots in her too, like they're falling over her. And then, to finish off, I was going to stamp a sentiment. Maybe I'll stamp it right here. And I am going to stamp a sentiment that says, Holiday Wishes. Oops, sorry. Let's see, I think I'm going to want to put the sentiment right here. Or I should put it right over here. And I am going to use my favorite ink, Memento Tuxedo Black. And I am going to stamp it right there. to add a little more tape to this of course hopefully the little jelly dots are pretty much dried up by now and then I'm going to stick it to this layer here and then to the final layer which is the card I don't usually show the whole process of just the coloring but I wanted just to show you how I do this and there is going to be my very simple Christmas card. And there you have it. There is my pretty Christmas card. I hope you like it and enjoyed it. Sorry for some of the mistakes I made, but that's, that's what happens. And uh, I hope that you subscribe to the Sasayaki Glitter Stamps channel and that you uh, come back and visit us again. Thank you so much and have a great day.